gonna do a little video here of my homestead I've been building up in the mountains. It's a truck camper, a 10 by 10 sort of three-sided shed, if you will, built on the back. Got a wood-burning stove. A little front yard here, a windmill. I just been saving and collecting things along the way as I go. Uh, there's my garage. This is the driveway. I built this garage for just under a thousand dollars with the tin roofing and that garage door. It's got solar panels up there on the roof, about a hundred watts, just cheap chunk. And a local uh, big box store. There's the front of the cabin, 10 by 10 cabin. It's pretty cozy in there. It's got everything you need. So here you go, the world's first tiny house on two trailers. It comes in at just around 600 square feet, so it's still sort of classed as a tiny house. And because it's on wheels and it's of road going dimensions when the two pieces are separated, it is a tiny house. There's going to be a window there for the bathroom, a window for the kitchen, see all the cribbing. I've done. That was a lot of work. I was originally going to go with cinder blocks, but I think this is the best way. There. Working tail lights just to prove that it's a tiny house. And uh, all underneath there. It's all in good shape, all painted, all sealed. No critters getting in there. I leveled it off. I took the wheels off so I could do all my framing around it. It's easy to use the table or the uh, trailers as a, as a work surface so the wheels stick up a little bit and we're getting in my way. They'll go on later. And this will all be skirted with lattice or something. So these are some walls that still need to go up on the second trailer. And there's two lofts almost four foot maybe a little more to, uh, in the center just a little under four feet on the side walls as you can see that's the top of the loft walls and the, it's gonna just have a very small pitch roof like a one foot pitch um, because it's only eight feet wide uh, might as well maximize the space There you go, second trailer frame. So this is gonna be another window here and I'm gonna have my wood burning stove pretty much right in this corner where the two trailers join. And this is the old entrance for the old trailer. It's gonna become the new entrance for the tiny house. I'm not gonna use the staircase obviously, I'm gonna build a deck around here. All takes time and money. That's how much this trailer cost me. Built it in 2010, and that's all this much trailer this cost me. 600 bucks to make the floor of the trailer was free. I had like free. So if you come up into the front, there'll be a big window here. And starting at the fender there, there'll be a staircase and probably a little desk underneath it. The staircase will go up to the loft. The loft is, um, 8 by 10 like I said with four to four and a half foot ceilings all the way around and I haven't decided yet but I don't know I might put a patio off of one side of that loft or the other because um, I'm going to put a patio off the back of this loft which is also 8 by 10 and it's gonna go back into those trees that patio for a nice nice quiet area to just chill out way in the back it's going to be a bathroom eight foot by five foot and on this side here there's going to be a staircase going up to the loft and 
basically above the fender well is going to be all of my utilities in there so they'll be inside the house so that the nothing hopefully nothing freezes and uh, so that'll be my utility room inside the house and I did that uh, for weight distribution and also because of uh, most people are putting their utility room on the front of their trailer I'm going with a bay window which is going to be eight feet tall and then the ceilings in here are going to be around 11 feet I've got a surprise that's going to go right in here on this side of the trailer I'm not saying anything about that yet and then this is a back door this is where my back door is going to go and uh, right at the staircase and then you can go down there and fetch wood uh, to the wood pile and over there is going to be an 8 foot by 10 foot bedroom down below so basically everything you see in screen there or even part of the wheel wells it's going to be a massive bedroom and loft above it with a staircase so yeah two trailers two staircases two lofts basically three bedrooms a bigger bathroom than most apartments have and the kitchen's going to go all the way along this side here and then the wood burning stove will sit right there in the corner and that'll be the front door and it'll all look out to my fire pit this will all be patio in here eventually I'm gonna put a deck a big huge deck and so yeah the totals uh, somewhere around 600 square feet so it'll still be in the tiny house uh, category and uh, I started with this trailer back in 2009 has basically been sitting up here and I just haven't had time uh, and on just in two weekends here I've built all of this me and my father we basically tore down this old travel trailer last year the freebie and that was a lot of work and um, yeah so all of this new construction here is in the last two weeks two weekends so five days total and uh, about a thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollars worth of money for all of the new lumber uh, so I'm into this for about twenty five hundred bucks so far and I still have tons I've got a still got a pile I've got over a hundred two by fours and stuff like that and a whole bunch of beams so I'm good to go it's just a matter of finding time uh, I'd like to get it all finished soon though. anyways there you go the world's first modular tiny house the second house will be able to remove and be separated permanently if so desired. It'll all be framed so it can be easily removed and um, made into two separate trailers. And I'll explain all of that as the construction goes and I make more videos. So, well, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, stay tuned for more.